I guess this is always going to be a, like a, a, a guys with guns kind of film. There wasn't any pain involved. This was a, <laughs> this was a fun one. I don't really believe in writer's block either. You I don't? It, no. I'm, I'm, I've never had it. I've always been really lazy, but I've never had writer's block. <laughs> I know I could do it if I wanted to, but I just can't be, can't be asked. This well, but you're, you're prolific, so, so you're, are you... I, no, I was, uh, quick. You're quick. Yeah. And not, then you go fishing then, or something? Yeah, what happens? Yeah. Then yeah. I travel. You travel. Oh. Yeah, and drink. <laughs> <laughs> Hence the movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For this one particularly, uh, I kind of started off how the film starts off with uh, Colin's character having the title but only having one psychopath and wanting it to be about love and peace rather than violence and, and bloodshed. Uh, so that, and I think I had uh, the Quaker psychopath story, the, the Harry Dean story, um, as a separate thing before the script of this. So I had those two elements, I guess, and then just kind of let the characters talk. I had a vague idea of this dog kidnapping bullshit, and, um, uh, and just kind of let, let the characters talk to each other and then just it kind of grew from there really. I don't ever plot things out or do a treatment or uh, anything like that. I had to knock it out really quickly so I can go off uh, traveling. So uh, this was this is five or six weeks I think. No. Maybe a little. Oh longer. it's so yeah. depressing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you might get two or three pages in the wrong direction uh, but you'll know that fairly soon I think and you'll you'll go back on yourself but it's not usually uh, uh, it just kind of progresses like a shark somehow. It just keeps going on till the end. Um, so you might rejig the last couple of days' work or just cancel it all out. But that shows itself pretty quickly for me. It's quite joyful as well, like writing crazy nutbags like this, because you don't really, like when you're writing Sam Rockwell's character, you don't know what the hell he's going to do next. And that's, there's something kind of joyful about uh, a, a, a structure that goes that way. That every like I didn't know he was going to explode the car until he exploded the car. <laughs> uh, you know that you wrote that though, right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. But there's something joyful I think in surprising yourself because if you surprise yourself, then hopefully you'll surprise your audience too. No, I don't think it's it's even as structured <coughs> as that. I think they're always going to come up, and I kind of like twists. And I think, but it's a natural, it's a natural side of uh, the plays I've done have that element too. Um, sometimes, like the, the the starting setup of, of something, is only there to to go in a in a different direction, you know. Like this, the whole plot, the whole uh, dog kidnapping thing is kind of a, a red herring, really. It's it's all about where they're it's all about the desert and where they're gonna get to. By the time you get to shoot a film like this, I had this script was sort of ready to go about seven years ago, oh. and it didn't really change in the years in between. Um, so, but if you sat with the script for that long, all of the, every line is there for a good reason. 